Hi, I'm Becky Holston, the UK's People Whisperer. I'm helping Britain get rid of their stress and bring their smiles back. Today we're going to be meeting Helen. Helen is stressed. She feels in her life like she's taking three steps forward and two steps back. I know what the real problem is. So Helen, what's going on in your life at the moment? What's going on in my life? Um, uh, I run a training company and train and teach become personal trainers. I write um, some technical skills courses for my company and other companies. Um, I don't earn very much money. I keep quite fit. I have a boyfriend who's a pain in the arse. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people have got one of those. So if, we, if I now ask you, so how can I help you? How can what you would you like me? my help with? So... I feel like I'm, I'm very capable and I have the abilities that I need to have but, but, but sometimes I stop myself from moving forward, that's what I think. Okay. I don't think that necessarily life gets in my way, I think I get in my way. Okay, and how do you know that? How do I know that? I don't know, how do I know yeah, that? Yeah, how do you know that life, that you're stopping yourself? What, what is it in your life that tells you that you're doing that? We're going to measure your stress now, Helen, see how your heart rate is being impacted by the stress hormones um, that are created by your thoughts, you know, as well as our conditions that we find ourselves in. Um, but here in the safety of my lounge, we're not under attack from lions or anything like that, I <laughs> okay. don't think. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. So would you pop that on your ear, please, so that I can get a pulse reading? So this is giving a reading of your real time, second by second stress levels. So the impact of the stress hormones on your heart. Now, right now, you're in real optimum performance mode. So this is the right state. Your body's happy, your mind is happy. This is the feeling to do anything. So you just started to change your thoughts now. And then we've gone to red. So what did you just think a moment ago? Because we're looking at three colours, green, blue and red. Green is optimum. Red suggests that, that you, know, you are um, creating some stress in that moment. I honestly think, I thought, oh, I'm really happy Becky's telling me that I'm happy right now. I hope that lasts a long time. I don't want to be unhappy. Red. Right. So what does that tell you? that you shouldn't think negative thoughts. You should think happy thoughts. Yeah. So, think happy thought. I'm thinking about yellow flowers. Ah, what kind of yellow flowers in particular? I don't know. Uh, I don't like Joe Burrow. Has it gone red? No. no. What do you like? Um, I don't know what you call them. Um, roses, yellow roses. Yellow roses are your favorite. Yeah. Ah, and when you thought about yellow roses, it went green. It did. So, what kind of yellow roses? Have you ever had the big roses? Yeah, love those. Love they those. Are. And how many roses is enough roses? A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think after just then? I immediately thought, do you know what I actually thought? hundred, because my boyfriend could afford a hundred, but he's really miserable. So it went red. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> could easily afford a hundred, but he'd never buy me a hundred. <laughs> You can clearly see that Helen's got a big part of her that's holding her back and preventing her from what she wants to do. This part of her, I suspect, is her security department and it's not allowing anything into her life, good and bad. It's protecting her and protecting her from everything. So we need to get this part and put it back in its place. 